Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about how you can plan out your outfits using Figma. Now, I posted a video on my TikTok and Instagram Reels quickly talking about how I planned out my outfits for every single day and every single activity of my two-week Europe trip. Yeah, I planned out every outfit for every activity, you guys, for 15 days. And like I said, I did it using Figma and Figma is actually meant for like UX designers, for people who are trying to design apps and websites. I have planned outfits before on like Google Docs or like Google Slides, but I just found Figma to be way easier than all of those. So if you want to see how I did it, keep watching. Okay, so to start off, Figma is a free website. I didn't have to pay for anything that I did on the website. So if you're first starting out and you don't have an account yet, you're going to want to sign up and you can sign up with an actual email and password. But I just signed up with my Google account because it's faster. So at the bottom here is where I have all of my boards and these are all under the the recents tab on the left here so any boards that you viewed recently will appear here and let me just show you what my board looks like currently so here's my entire board where I planned out all of my outfits for Europe but I kind of separated it into sections so at the top here I laid out all of the individual pieces by category so you can see here I have head accessories tops cardigans jackets bottoms shoes etc. And then if we scroll down, here on the left hand side is where I planned out all of the individual outfits. I also took away the actual dates and activities just for my own privacy. But on the left hand side is where I added all the dates as well as the actual activities. And that's because we actually have a Google Sheet that we've been working off of to actually plan every single day, plan out our entire itinerary. So I actually just copied and pasted the dates and activities from the Google Sheet onto my Figma and I would paste it where it says date. But like I said, for my privacy and safety, I just took it out for the video. And then in the column next to it, I actually just dumped a bunch of like photo ideas that I found on Pinterest. Instagram so I literally just copied and pasted them all in here just to help me remember what types of photos I want to take while I'm at that location and then further to the right I added some extra outfit ideas outfits that I don't know exactly where to wear them to but at least I have them already planned out in case I do need an outfit for a certain activity and I don't have one planned yet and then on the other side I have some extra pieces of clothing that I may want to bring but I haven't really decided on it yet. Once I actually pack then I'll decide if I want to bring them and I made this entire board and planned out all of my outfits because I'm very indecisive like it takes me forever to decide on an outfit so doing this just helps me cut down on time on the day of because I already have my outfit planned, I just need to put it on. Plus, I think it'll also help me to not overpack. I'm also an overpacker, so if I already know what I want to wear, then hopefully I won't overpack. But again, of course, you can't plan for everything. Something is bound to happen. I'm definitely going to bring some other things. Like, I have a little list up here of some miscellaneous items that I also want to make sure to bring. But now I'll show you how I actually created this. So I'm going to just go back out and create a new board, and we'll start fresh. Click new design file and here is your brand new fresh clean Figma board and what I first did was create all of the categories so I'm just gonna recreate my board so I had head accessories and then I'll just zoom in until I can see the title clearly if you want to make the font bigger change the font or anything all of that is gonna be on the right hand side I used the font Futura so I'm just going to change it to that font and then to duplicate the text, I like to do this little trick where you hold down option, click, and then drag. And it'll just duplicate the text. And then I'll continue writing all the categories, like tops. I'll try to space it out too, because I know I'm going to drop in some photos. And we have jackets, cardigans, bottoms, shoes, and I had other accessories. Dresses and rockers, bags, purses, and bikinis. So now from here, all I do is just drop in all of the photos and I didn't take any of the photos myself. I just Google searched the images and copied and pasted them onto the board. So like for head accessories, I had a beige beret. So I'll literally just search up beige beret, go to images, find one that looks like mine, copy the image, go back to Figma, paste it, 
resize it, and that's it. So I just did that for literally all of my clothing items. If I can find the exact item, great. If not, I'll just Google search and try to find a piece that's as similar as possible. And I first started off by adding pieces that I know for sure that I wanna bring. Like any pieces that I think are super cute, that I wanna take a photo in or something, then I'll look up those items first. And for some images like this one, I just wanna crop it so that it only shows the top. So to do that, I hold down option and double click and then it'll bring up these little blue anchors and you can drag them to crop the image and then i hit enter and now it's cropped and then if i'm on a website and i can't copy the image like if i right click and there's no copy image option i'll actually just screenshot it so i'll do command shift 4 and that changes my cursor to a little selection tool and then i'll just select the part of the image that i want to screenshot let it go, go back to Figma, and then in the bottom right, I'll drag that little icon and drop it into Figma, resize it, and there we have it. Another tip for resizing if you want to maintain the ratio of the height to the width is to hold down shift while you're resizing, and then the image will look the same. If you don't hold down shift, then the image might look a little bit wonky. So I just like to hold down shift whenever I'm resizing. So I'm going to finish up copy and pasting all of the items. Okay you guys, I finally finished dropping in all of the images. I don't have the exact same image as my actual board, but I did try to find as many similar items as I could. Some of them are exactly the same, but yeah, now I have all of the pieces in my board. And at first, this was all that I was gonna do. I was just gonna leave it at this. I was like, who's got time to actually plan every single outfit? Looks like I do because I did end up planning every outfit. So we did pretty much all the hard work now, just like getting all of the different pieces on your board. Now the fun part, at least to me, is actually putting all the outfits together, which is gonna be a lot easier now that you have all of the pieces laid out in front of you. So if we're actually gonna plan out the outfits, I'll show you how I did that. So let me just create a divider by duplicating this block of text. And how I created the divider was just holding down the dash key. So once you've got a good amount, I just copy it and paste it to make it longer. And that's how I created this little divider. And then I'm going to duplicate this text again. And then let's add the date. So like today's date is May 6th. And then let's just say our first stop is London. I'm also going to right align the text. And then now I can just drop in all the pieces that I want to wear for this outfit. So maybe we're going to brunch and I want to wear a dress. I'll take this dress, copy and paste it, and just drag it over. Same thing for the shoes. Select, copy, paste, and drag. So all the pieces, I pretty much did the exact same thing. Just look at what I have at the top, copy, paste, and then drag it down to the bottom. And there we have our first outfit. And then let's say later that day, we're getting dinner. So dinner at a restaurant. I, I don't know any restaurants right now in London. So we're going to dinner. Let's say I want to wear a nice dress. So I'll grab the dress and I can scroll down and paste it as well. Same thing here with the shoes. Copy and paste. I'll need a purse as well. And you know, it might get cold. So I might want to bring a blazer just in case. And there we have our second outfit complete. So you can do this exact same process for every single day. Maybe on this day, you're gonna go ride the London Eye. <laughs> it's the same process. To make it even easier, honestly, you can zoom in like this. Select all the pieces that you wanna wear by holding down shift and clicking all the pieces that you wanna wear. So I've got five pieces selected. I've got my top, a cardigan, shorts, shoes, and this tote bag. Hit Command C to copy, scroll down, hit Command V to paste, and now you've got all the pieces scattered, but now it's a little bit easier to drag and form your outfit. 
so that's pretty much it that's how i plan my outfits i did that for every single day every activity for two whole weeks i know it sounds crazy but again like i said i think it's going to help me in the long run by saving a lot of time and space in my suitcase if you want to create a line down the middle like how i separated it from outfits and then photos all i did was select the divider copy it paste it and then rotate it 90 degrees and you can make sure that it's completely straight and 90 degrees by holding down shift while you rotate so now it's completely straight i'll just place it there and now on this side of the divider i can add in any photo ideas so for that i just went to pinterest and i already have a board full of like europe ideas so i have a europe photos ideas board if you want to follow it or check it out i'll leave it linked below as well and i have a bunch of photos saved here already so i'll just go in and just copy images and paste them into my board like this and you can also make sure that it aligns with the outfit so like you know if you're going to see the london eye i'll find my photo of the london eye copy it go back to Figma, drop it in, resize it, and that's it. You've got your Figma board all planned out with all your outfits. You're gonna look so cute and you're gonna have the best time of your life stress-free. So that is how I plan all of my outfits for my two-week Europe trip on Figma. If you guys have any other questions, you can let me know in the comments below. I'll try to get back to as many as I can. I'll leave links as well in the description box. And thank you so much for watching. I hope it helps. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends as well. You can also say thanks by clicking the little thanks button below this video. I'm so thankful to anyone that does that. And if you do, I'll give you a personal shout out in my next video. Subscribe for more productivity content i also make a lot of vlogs about my life if you want to check those out happy planning and i will see you guys in my next video bye